All right, so somewhere down here. Oh my, <laughs> there it is. What a, oh goodness. Oh no, oh there's items everywhere. What is going on? Hey guys, it's Duke and welcome back to the episode of Tech It 2. I hope you're having a great day. I know I am and I'm glad to be back for another episode. In the last episode, we got robbed. We were absolutely robbed of everything we owned, <laughs> just about. Uh, actually, it wasn't that big of a deal. We only lost a couple diamonds that were being collected in here, as well as all of our machines from Duck Shed. You can see that we have since replaced, and we are getting ready to expand our enterprises even further in today's episode and inwards into the future. So. I have now a third energy collector up and running. Uh, this condenser is just making glowstone. I don't know why. I just decided that's what it was going to do. I guess, yeah, we have three running. We're going to have a separate tower here that's kind of poking out of this one. Hi, Clarky. You're in the corner. Just <laughs> spread out. You look like a you look like one of those bear rugs. All right. Yeah, you do you, man. In the last episode, I had talked about how we were going to take a couple of... Nova Cataclysms and run them around town, blowing everything up, collecting all the resources, and that is what I intend to do in today's episode. Since we were distracted last time, we will not be distracted this time. We will get right on with it. That way, <laughs> our actual plans come to fruition because they, they did not. We have a thief out on the loose and we need to get a hold of that as quickly as possible. Uh, but let's start off with grabbing a couple of those. So we've got five here, and if we're able to condense any more resources, doesn't look like we have any dark matter getting ready to get set up. There we go. We've got 15 of those. That's a good start. And before we go and do anything else, go any further in today's video, there are a couple things I'd like to do. In Project E, there is, of course, the alchemical chest. However, if you surround it with some wool of your own color and some high covalence dust, we make an alchemical bag, which is basically a portable version of an alchemical chest. And for those who don't remember, an alchemical chest was one of the basic recipes for the condenser. So this is basically just a big old chest with a couple other properties. And we are going to be using that in a portable form, the alchemical bag. And if we add the black hole band, it will allow us to collect a ton of stuff into the alchemical bag without actually having to pick them up by hand. So I'm back over in the basement of my house and I have collected a couple different flower types here. That way we can have some different colored wool. The plan being that we'll have four bags, at least for now. We can always improve later on. But guys, I am realizing that Duck Shed got demolished basically, right? And that was a tragedy. Our house is very, very close by. And obviously, Meme's been here. He's seen it. Maybe his friend Mountain. I don't know. I almost don't know if I feel safe just having everything lying around in here anymore. And I think I might want to move some of this to a secret special place. If we don't tell him, we have a secret passage right here. And he's probably seen it now because it does lead over to duck shed i built this a little while ago it's supposed to be kind of gross and dark the idea being that it would seem like nothingness is hidden away however now we're in a position where it kind of does matter and i'm thinking maybe we do something similar here elsewhere we don't tell meme a single thing about it so i'm not as rich as i thought i was i totally forgot the fact that i'm going to need four of these black hole bands if i'm going to want each one of these <laughs> alchemical bags to have its very own uh, ability to pick up everything on the ground so we're gonna have one for now which is fine and we're gonna go with purple because it's kind of cool in this texture pack i like it okay ob <laughs> obviously it's gonna go in there what if no 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 it's still going in here we don't want that we want it to go into the bag first so let's say we have a whole inventory of torches for some reason doesn't seem to want to go in. So I made it a little simple error and I forgot to turn on the ring itself. So if we throw 
the basalt that's currently in here. As you can see, it follows us until it can get sucked up in, and there it is. So, we don't need to have all these torches. We don't need to have all these bread doing whatever they're doing. Let's put our unused alchemical stuff in here for now. Uh, we have our Nova Cataclysm. We have our salt brick that we don't really need to be bringing. So there's our black hole band. That's fantastic. It's on. So the plan is that we have an alchemical bag. We have a lever. Cool, cool, cool. And then our Nova Cataclysms. We'll have a bunch of those. 43. Okay, this might break my computer. But that's something I'm willing to deal with. <laughs> um, whether I should be or not. Alright, we have a stack of Nova Cataclysms. We have a lever. Goodbye, beautiful world, and I'm sorry to my computer. Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh no. Oh no. Oh hey, we're back. That actually, we survived. Fantastic, I thought we were doomed. Alright, so somewhere down here. Oh my. <laughs> there it is. What a... Oh goodness. Oh no. Oh, there's items everywhere. What is going on? That's crazy! I can't see anything! What is going on? Oh my. Okay, well. Let me guess. My alchemical bag is indeed all the way filled up. Although, nothing actually wants to just go into my inventory now. That's really strange. I just start chucking out. I can't even get rid of this cobblestone, guys. It's just everywhere. But I'm going to go through and sort this out and hopefully end up with some good things. Alright, bear with me because this is going to be a laggy clip. Um, there are stacks upon stacks. I mean, <laughs> look at this! This wild cobblestone cylinder. I'm mesmerized. This is the coolest thing ever. Uh, but we're pretty much through all the stuff that we checked. Um, a lot of it's despawned because it's been five minutes. As you can tell, it's nighttime now. Because I just went through and started clearing out a ton of cobblestone, hence the giant cylinder there. And this is our haul for today. I'm pretty satisfied with it. We got a lot of ore. But the thing I'm concerned about is the amount of resources that despawned while we're doing this. So I think next time we absolutely have to make sure we have more alchemical bags and more alchemical bags with more black hole bands inside. That way, we're sorting through four different bags all at once and we don't have to worry about it all clumping up and despawning because I think we lost a lot of resources that way. But if we do check inside, 48 diamonds, pretty solid because you got to think about none of this is fortuned. Basically what happened is we blew up 48 blocks in this chunk. Uh, not an actual Minecraft chunk, but this area I should say. Oh, and there's a zombie. And we can't see anything, so <laughs> here. This is how this clip is getting recorded. Yeah, as you can tell, we've got a lot of resources in here. A lot of redstone, some electrotine. Electrotine? Didn't it used to be something else at one point, but they changed it. Lapis, a good amount, decent amount of coal, a lot of iron, some copper, tin, gold, silver, you know, the goods. Uh, some aluminum as well. But it also opened up all these different blocks at... Pretty much bedrock level, which is really cool because now you can just fly around and you can see all these open blocks. I'm surprised we didn't get any uranium. It must have despawned uh, because last time I tested this, I had a lot of uranium and that was nowhere near a stack of Nova Cataclysms like I used here. I think you just like 10. Massive difference here. Obviously, we're able to get quite a bit of EMC. I mean, 48 diamonds there, almost... 400,000 EMC. Once you put in uranium, you're there. So pretty satisfied with this. That means we can get all these macerated up and smelted and we'll have quite a bit left over. But I think 
I think I just want to go through here and kind of clean up this area. All right, we are back in the tower, which means we have a full alchemical bag. I understand there's some cobblestone and, you know, not so great stuff in here, but I'm pretty satisfied with the overall amount. I ended up breaking my diamond five or diamond efficiency uh, five pickaxe. So I made another one and I used half the durability. And as you can see, I am up to 28 levels. Things are looking pretty nice there. Uh, but yeah, I think I'm pretty satisfied with how that worked. And now it's time to take all the loot out of here, you know, and start smelting it up. Start running it through the macerator, all the process that we need to do. Stack plus sum of diamonds into here. Boom. All right. That is for dark matter. And I'm taking these out here because I think it is time we upgrade. We don't need diamonds any longer. Let's get ourselves a dark matter pickaxe. So we'll grab a couple diamonds there. Oh, we actually uh, don't have enough. Let's just chuck these in here. That should be it. Yep. There you go. So, a couple diamonds down below, and then dark matter along the top. That is a dark matter pickaxe. Alright, so, let's make our final black hole band right here, and that will be enough for all four of our alchemical bags. There we go. There's the four of those. Four rings. Turn them all on. Okay, so that's four alchemical bags. Oh, we actually do need some more fuel. Uh, as you can see, I've started making the dark matter tools and for the most part, pretty standard stuff here, but the hammer uh, works pretty similar to a lot of modded hammers. I'm sure if you guys have played any sort of modded before. You've seen kind of how this works. Uh, basically, it just mines in a three by three by one deep area uh, rather than a single pickaxe, just single block. So you know, if you're trying to mine a big area underground or something like that you can get nine out at once instead of just one which may come in use when we're trying to build our secret base to hide from meme so that's kind of the plan there uh, but we've got some gold smelting or dark matters doing just fine uh, one thing I am realizing guys is if you look over here and I've got some glowstone here because I'm trying to create light but if you open these up the light for this guy isn't all the way full and this, this one is, which is kind of strange, because it was actually completely off, and then I removed the block above it, now it's fine. This one's fine, this one's not, that one's barely down. So if you look, directly above is some wood. And I believe this is stopping the flow of sunlight directly onto the block, which is causing it to slow down like that. Which has me a bit concerned, because if we're going to create a tower over on this side... Like, these guys are fine. Whoop. These blocks here are good. This one's not. I have no idea how to produce more light for this guy so that this is working at a full rate. That seems to be some trouble. I don't know if it's the relay. It's just not good enough. Possibility, I'm sure. But I thought it would be the block above because, again, when I had this one first opened, it was completely black. And then I destroyed the block above it and it's working fully now. Not quite sure, uh, but either way, I'm pretty happy. We've got our four alchemical bags, one that still has some leftovers. Um, we need some more eternalist fuel. There we go. Speaking of which, in my last episode, I received a comment from uh, a guy named Michael's Asylum, who was able to let me know that we should not really be using fuels like eternalist, mobius, coal, redstone, yada yada, any of that, because... The Klein Star here, and the various levels of it, um, can hold EMC. So as you can see, it has an EMC value, but below it, it also has a stored EMC at zero. And basically, if we make one of these, we can store EMC inside, and then rather than going through the process of burning through Eternalist fuels just again and again and again, we don't need to worry about that. Oh, <laughs> we just grabbed so many of those. Let's throw a diamond in here. We make our Klein Star like so. This is the most basic form of it, but for now, should be fine. Let's just take out the dark matter, and if we chuck this guy here... Oh no, that's not what I meant to do. Oh no! Uh, well, uh, we can make the next version now, because we just have four of those. So this is the Zwei, going from the Ein to the Zwei. I assume that's how you say it. 
I'm not entirely. I can say sphere and omega. There we go. Uh, but actually, we need to open up one of our relays here and put it. Oh, that's not it. Put it right here, and eventually, this side. This side. There it is. Okay. So this will eventually start powering up the bottom bar here, I believe. And it'll turn the stored EMC into fuel for my rendering gale, which as you can see is currently powering down because I have no uh, source of stored EMC in it now, uh, or no continual way of getting it, I should say. So we got to keep an eye on that. But I want to bring you down here real quick. There is this auto auto work table, auto crafting table. I forget what it's actually called. Auto workbench. There we go. From Buildcraft. And this doesn't actually need to be by the pipes. I just kind of threw it here for the sake of having it near the extractor. Uh, but if we throw in a recipe and the correct resources allotted, it will just slowly create more and more and more until um, it's used up all the resources and the recipe can no longer be run. So as you can see, very slow, but it works and it doesn't require any power. And this is creating a bunch of copper cables, which obviously we need for crafting recipes. So the idea of just having something like this just ready to go at all times, I think is good. Okay, this is the beginning of having like a true factory. Okay, if we get this guy lined up, and since it's build craft, that should mean we can pipe stuff in and pipe stuff out of it. This means that we can have a bunch of recipes all set up in auto workbenches like so, piping different things in, different things out into other ones that take, you know, we go from the real raw unprocessed materials all the way to single stepped modules and then more detailed components and then all the way to the end level machines or such that it wants to create. So I think having this guy around makes a lot of sense for us and you'll probably be seeing even more of these in the future. This does bring up Another point, the rubber in here you'll see, again, we talked about this in the last episode, the rubber does not create an EMC value. However, I don't know how I missed this, sticky resin does. So yesterday's, or not yesterday's, but last video when I talked about having a giant rubber tree farm, and as you can see, there's my ring of rubber uh, over yonder. I don't need any of that. Sticky resin, of course, has an EMC value. It has a stack EMC value which means we can create a bunch of EMC through our condensers and collectors, throw it in the extractor, and it'll create rubber. Anyways, guys, I am pretty satisfied with where we got to today. We went through the process of blowing up a giant hole in the ground, 64 Nova Cataclysms. We have brand new tools, which we'll have a lot of fun with. We learned how to use the alchemical bag in the black hole band correctly, as well as the auto workbench and we are improving our emc generation as we speak we'll never need any worthless fuel anymore when we have the klein star which is in here somewhere i think there you are filling up i can see the the effort being put in now so the idea is when this is all the way filled up oh we'll be good for a while and that's not even the final form that's pretty exciting but anyways thank you guys so much for watching hope you enjoyed this has been duke I'll see you next time. Have a good day. Bye-bye.